Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. Alright, so in this video we have a rounding decimals mastery check. So what you're going to do is you're going to round the 10 decimals on your screen to the underlined place. So for example, number 1, you're rounding to the hundredths place. And like I mentioned before, this is a mastery check. So you're going to see basically if you know what you're doing when it comes to rounding decimals. You're going to do these on your own and then check your answers with my answers and see how you do. If you need more help or instruction with rounding decimals, I dropped the link to my instructional video below. And then when you finish that video, you could come back here and see if you have rounding decimals down, if you know what you're doing. Okay? So if you're confident to start your mastery check, when I say pause, you should have a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write these 10 down with. When I say pause, you will round these 10 decimals, 10 numbers, to the underlined place. And when you have all 10 done, go ahead and press play. I'll go through the answers and you see how you do. Your goal is to have 7 or up correct. So 7, 8, 9, or 10 correct out of 10. And that will show you have mastered rounding decimals. Okay? So when you're ready to go, go ahead and press pause. Alright, welcome back. I'm assuming you have numbers 1 through 10 done. So we're just going to go through the answers and see how you do. So number 1, we're rounding to the hundredths place. You should have 7 and eleven hundredths. Number two, we are rounding to the tenths place. You should have thirty-four and eight tenths. Number three, tenths place. You should have one tenth. Number four, we are rounding to the nearest whole number or the ones place and you should have one hundred ninety-nine. For number five, we are rounding to the nearest whole number as well. So you're asking yourself, is that number closer to three or are we closer to four? And that nine tells us we are closer to four. Number six, hundredths place, we should have 15 and 31 hundredths. Number seven, rounding to the tenths place, and that says stay the same. So if you put 9 and 0 tenths, that would be fine, right? But it's just a whole number, so you can just have 9 too. These are equal, so it doesn't matter. Number 8, nearest whole number. So, so are we closer to 9 or closer to 10? This 9 tells us we round up to 10. Number 9, the tenths place, we should have... 999 and 3 tenths. And then lastly, number 10, rounding to the nearest whole number. So are we closer to 28 or 27? And that 5 in the tenths place says we should round up to 28. And there we go. Hopefully you had at least 7. If not, I would highly suggest checking out the instructional video again and then coming back to the mastery check or writing out some of your own decimals and trying to round those. Okay? Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.